Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 98 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, my last episode, I actually died to the same enemy twice. Dora Winifred, 8Z, 9VNS. Okay. In case you're wondering where I got that name, DW, or Dora Winifred, is Arthur's sister. Dora Winifred! <laughs> Sad onion! Look, we had an intriguing run in the last episode. Well, intriguing runs. That, if only they had lasted longer, could have made for an interesting mom victory. Or, you know, could have backfired in my face. Those things could have happened too. You're not even going to kill that fly? Well, then again, it can't even harm us. So that onion will definitely help. Allows us to shoot faster. Jeez, I should just stay in the poop the whole time. Because he can't really do anything with it. Neither can those little guys. Stop spawning them. They might dash in and hurt me. Yeah, I gotta start playing like I need to use the cover more than ever. I really do. When I don't, it's when it really comes back to kill me. And nine times out of ten, that happens. So again, the post -it note is empty as the lost. We need to change that. We need to actually get some wins. That's not how you do it, by the way. <laughs> God. K0, New Brunswick, 7D6Z. You know, I wish I had a D6 as the lost. You know, if you couldn't give me Holy Mantle, at least give me D6. Then I go, oh, Isaac has D6, why should the lost get it too? Or, you know, just give him Spectral Tears. I'll be happy with just that. Just, I don't know, Dead Dove, Ouija Board, Spirit of the Night. Well, it would make sense just to give me Dead Dove. Still. Hmm, what's this build? Uselessness. That's what it was. I'm not even gonna mince words. You gotta be better than this. Like, seriously. My last runs are kinda like snowflakes. Never, no two are exactly alike. Store credit. That could be useful. At least one of the items in the shop will be for free. But what do I buy? Or what do I not buy? Let's find out. None of these are any good. Maybe starter deck. But let's try to look for our item room first. I feel like we should hold on to this a bit more. None of this is worth the uh, store credit. If I had enough money, I would just drop the store credit, buy something else, and then save it for the next shop. Forget me now. If I get a room with a curse, or a floor with a curse, or better yet, should I go into the curse room and then use the forget me now? It'll hamper boss rush, but at least it still basement or cellar part one which is early and I'll get to keep the store credit decisions decisions makes you wonder I don't know what I want to do well I guess we'll never know <laughs> fuck g4jv 4c2e ugh can I even make it to the caves or catacombs now? Come on, I want to have runs where I'm good enough to get to boss rush. Not just, you know, die too early. That you're gonna have like seven runs of video, and even then it's still 20 minutes. That's just lame. Let's face it, I did not anticipate myself getting hit. But, the fight was going on way too long, that was just bound to happen, it was just so crowded. I can see forever. That's real good. Maybe we'll find Skeleton Key in our first secret room. You know, to actually say we have it. 
Come on, just work with me, game. Just give me a chance. It's not like I'm playing poorly, I'm just running into bad luck. It's hard to avoid taking damage an entire run. Now you're patronizing me. Okay. This way probably leads to the boss. I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, we might as well just look. Or better yet, we'll just go the other way. Please die. Thank you. And I would like to go back in case our secret room is nearby. Like right here. We can go into our shop for free. We can even go to our library for free. Book of Secrets. We'll use it. Book of Belial. We might as well just pick up all of these so we never see them again. But we'll take Book of Belial with us. And see what's in our shop. Uh, the latter is useless. Like a lot of these are. We'll see. Uh oh. This is where I might start forgetting how to play good. Ugh. That was actually going directly where I was going. That could have been the most masterful uh, champion shot of all time. If that had killed me. Like, pro snipe. Now it's bottle of pills. That sucked. <laughs> so far, we only know of one good pill in our rotation, and that's I can see forever. Nothing else has been good to us. Oh, it's gonna stalk us? Okay. Fine, but you're still gonna die. Come on, we had some good luck avoiding the haunt. And... Okay, Duke of Flies is not bad. As soon as I saw an enemy that didn't have legs, I was like, fuck. And then I realized, oh, it's that guy. Never mind. Duke of Flies is okay. I can live with Duke of Flies. And I can kill the Duke of Flies. Experimental treatment. I don't know why I took that. But, I am a gambler sometimes. Damage is good. Speed is down. Tier stats, bad. Range is good. Shot speed, eh. Uh... I oh, actually heard tears is good. Maybe it's just our range that's bad. Yeah, our range is sucking. But, that's okay. As long as we're able to shoot faster, we can make more damage happen. Okay, we gotta try to slow things down mentally. I know we I want to get to boss rush. However, we don't want to rush too quickly to the point we're killing ourselves, and we gotta start over anyway. Like, seriously, this is going to be, like, my biggest test. As a Let's Player as a whole... Ooh, Spoonbender! That... I've done some challenges, but nothing of this magnitude. I mean, nothing in my Let's Play career can compare to this. Really, not even beating the guy. Back in 2009, that happened. And that was because I got killed just after I killed him. And I did not hit R to restart my run, because otherwise that win would not have counted. I did not know it would still count. And what, the elation was just too much. Like, you'd have to go back to that episode so many years ago. Like, seriously, I'm, we're, I think we might be at the 60-year um, anniversary of when that happened. Could be wrong, though, depending on when this video is up. That goes to show how big my backlog is. That being said, however, I'm still very proud of it. But if we can fill in the post-it note as the lost, that would be an even greater moment for us. Especially with this kind of bullshit, but there we go. Homing shots will definitely take a little bit of edge off of us. Because then we don't have to line ourselves up completely. Because some of our shots will just curve where they should go. Can 
Jesus Jew has been showing up an awful lot. Not that I'm complaining. The nail is not that great. Demon Baby is. Saves me a little bit of trouble. And I think we should just leave. I know we should be checking our shops for the uh, stopwatch, but we'll probably wait till we finish Boss Rush, then we can just slow things down altogether. That's not helpful. <laughs> Neither are these guys. It's not really close enough for a demon baby to get the job done. But, it'll be better. At least he'll help and gain certain enemies. It's just that too bad he's not even that strong enough to defeat them all. Yeah, just gotta take advantage of our ability to fly. We need to do that more. I feel like we haven't. Or, well, I haven't. You guys probably would have. In fact, I see you guys maybe doing a little bit better than me, or worse, depending on who you are. On who you think you are. You know, in Curse of Darkness, spiders actually suck even more than ever. Oh, God. I could have spawned right on top of me. That would have been a dick way to kill me. Why am I not using this? Because I'm an arrogant prick, that's why. Please give me a guppy item. Two pills! They're both ranged down. Doesn't my range already suck? If so, well, okay, not necessarily. We did get Jesus juice earlier, so it may not be as bad. Five. Ugh. I would like to get that, uh... Can I get that gold key without triggering it? Yes, I can. Good. I think you have to stand directly in the middle. We'd redo the entire room. Do I want to do that? I was open to doing so when it was, like, the first floor earlier. But at, like, the third floor? I don't know. Depends on how good the item is here, or how bad it is. If it's bad, then, you know, I'll reroll in a heartbeat. But... Let's wait it out. I don't want to get into any rash decisions. Parasite... Homing shots. It has the potential to make good things happen. Maybe bad. Oh. I seized up for a moment. I know you did too. I should really be turning the gamma up on these. Just to cheat these rooms, but... Eh, kinda lazy. Laziness will come back to bite me in the ass faster than these spiders will. I guess we'll see what happens. PhD. And the, uh, red... I did not mean to buy that. And it was locked down. Maybe I should have waited till I got PhD. Well, we're here for the long haul. We might as well just blow it all up. PhD or red candle? I think we'll go with PhD. I can see forever. There are secret rooms real to us. Oh, now we could have afforded to buy it anyway. Oh well. Maybe we should forego Boss Rush on purpose? Uh. <sighs> Never mind. Let's keep going. Ugh, <sighs> 18, 6B, XN31. That might be a radio station somewhere. Blood of the Murder? Yeah, okay. I'll take what I can get. If it means I can kill enemies faster rather than get killed faster. People are gonna say, like, oh, how you should have handled those rooms better. I mean, it's so easy for you to say that after the fact. But in the spur of the moment, come on. It's so easy to be your armchair critic. Fun, too. <laughs> Let's just not focus on the negatives and just get back to the positives. Like, we didn't die too early. Not a big glowing endorsement, but still. It works. 
Curse of the Unknown is basically Curse of the Irrelevant. It doesn't bother us at all. Straight damage up will speed things up. Hopefully not our own demise. And Duke of Flies. We already had you before. We'll have you again. Because that's how the game rolls. Fair enough. Man, these, these giant flies really are so big. Placenta. Other characters other than Blue Baby, I would have been happy to have you. But man, you just break my heart. Curse of the Lost. Way to remind me who I am. The Lost is cursed, pretty much. <laughs> Where did they come up with this idea, anyway? Lost versus Lust. No, not that idea. I mean, a character where you can fly, but you die in one hit. Virus is useless, but it will keep it from showing up in an item room. I'm for it. That's the only purpose of taking the virus when you're the lost. You just don't want it to show up elsewhere. Again, the only reason. So that's why I took it. So come on, be good to me, game. Just give me something, anything. That won't kill me right away. Or at least something I can use. This game has a history of just fucking me over. X-ray vision. Not a strong passive, but it's okay. It saves me bombs. Maybe the secret room would have been around here? No. Okay. We'll go this way. Ugh, great, a Zelda 1 room. I'm not saying it is a Zelda 1 room, but... In certain dungeons in Zelda 1, you see uh, blocks laid out like this. Sometimes you can push them to get secret passages. Usually one of them in the middle. That's what I liked about Zelda 1, just all that exploration. Didn't really hold your hand. I'm not sure he says dangerous to go alone, take this. That was the closest to hand, hand holding you'd ever get. Just gives you a sword. That's not really saying much. Oh, would have liked to get that jar. That was frightening. But passable. Our secret room doesn't really have much for us. How big is this floor, anyway? Too big. Bombs are key. Hematemesis. 48-hour energy. Explosive diarrhea. Potentially fatal. And range down. So overall, not that great in the pill department. But could have been worse. At least it wasn't a tears down. That would have bit me real bad. Right now, hardly any of these pills are good. It's pretty much been bad central. That's all it has been. Is this the way to our boss? No? Weird. Where is it then? I feel like we explored every single area. Still haven't found it. Maybe we go this way? I don't think we went right. And now I see why. Get that key. This is so weird. No, nope, no, nope, don't go that way. Ugh. I'm confused now. This is so disorienting. Do I go up? Well, this is the only place we haven't looked. It would be so rare if they actually made the game or a floor have no boss room, and then you're stuck in purgatory. Oh, god, no. Anything but him. Not the haunt.
Please. Yes, okay. Worst part is over. Like, Big Hunt is no big deal. It's the little guys I hate the most. For obvious reasons. At least this room feels big. It needs to be. Oh, cheating death there. Well, every hit is cheating death, really. Right, it's close to death. Thank you. Speedball. And Rotten Baby. Not exactly the best items in the world, but I'll take them. Burned a lot of time trying to get through that floor. Damn. That took forever. But at least Rotten Baby is there. To provide some assistance. Just fine by me. If I can't hit him, the fly will. Ooh. Thank you, poop. Or fire. Yeah, it was fire. How am I thinking the poop? It tried to kill me. Sharp plug? No. Not on your life. None of these I would take. Or that. If only a rotten baby can just fire off more flies. Or at least have them attack, even when you're further away. Because I feel like you have to get so close for them to be triggered. Oof, that could have done it for us too. Good thing I stopped myself. Jeez, sometimes I need to be saved for myself. I really do. I feel like there are so many times that I deserve to die as the lost. And there are times I don't deserve it. I'm just glad I was given a second birth. Like a new lease on life. Or a new lease on being scared to death. That's what it feels like. Pfft, whatever. Alright, let's, let's move along here. I guess we went the wrong way for pretty much every special room. That's left, at least. Okay, good. Item room's right here. No! 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 God! I'll use it, but I don't like it. Missing page doesn't really help either. I moved, and that wasn't enough. Oh, God. This game is just finding new ways to destroy me. But I'm not giving in. I will not give up. I can taste victory. It's gonna take a while, but we're gonna get there. Probably in the next episode. See everyone.